selling babies is a crime that happens every day on the international black market. It's become as technologically sophisticated as it is highly profitable. Tonight we meet a striking blonde, a single mother, on a quest to adopt a sibling for her daughter. But she stumbled onto this underground world, and what she did next is breathtaking. Here's ABC's Dan Harris. She's the socialite and single mother who was roped into being an unlikely but highly effective crime fighter. The story started in 2009 when Taylor Stein, daughter of a legendary New York City rock promoter and a bold-faced name on the social scene, decided she wanted a sibling for her daughter, Juna. She looked into foster care and private adoption, but neither worked out. I was heartbroken because it was something that I just always wanted to do, and I was on a mission. <laughs> But then she met a lawyer named Hillary Neiman, who had something incredible to offer. It was unique, all right. She had had a set of intended parents, and the intended parents had hired a surrogate to carry third-party um, embryo. Um, Mid-pregnancy, I think it was in the fifth month, they had walked away from the deal. Neiman was offering to let Taylor take over. It seemed like the perfect solution. You meet Hillary. I meet Hillary. And she impresses you. She impressed me. And <laughs> so at that point you said, all right, I'm going to go forward with this. Yeah, she didn't look like a hustler. I mean, you seem like somebody who it would be hard to sucker. This woman, let's she, be yeah, honest, she, she suckered you. She suckered me. How much money are we talking? Um, initially, I believe it was 180. You sent her $180,000. Yes, I did. $100. She gave me a hug. I mean, what more than a... And she was giving me a baby. The baby was real, but everything else was a lie. The lawyer was part of an illegal baby-selling ring along with two other women, one of whom, Teresa Erickson, was so well-known in the surrogacy field that she hosted her own radio show. And hello and welcome back to the Surrogacy Lawyer Radio Show. According to court documents, the women were creating babies for the sole purpose of selling them. Here's how it worked. Surrogates were paid about 40 grand and sent to Ukraine where they were impregnated with anonymous embryos. Once the surrogates were in their second trimester, the lawyers got to work shopping the babies around for hundreds of thousands of dollars. They were exploiting a booming market for surrogacy, which has been popularized by celebrities like Sarah Jessica Parker, Ricky Martin, and Nicole Kidman. But even in this crowded marketplace, the tactics used by the baby ring stood out. We found this ad they posted online, guaranteeing a healthy baby but warning of very high expenses. When we first heard about this, we found it shocking. Special Agent Keith Slaughter from the FBI worked on the case. It's a very minimal check, and they're basically giving babies away to the highest bidder. But to crack this case, they needed somebody on the inside. The FBI give me a call after I'm dropping my daughter off for, um, for school. And they tell me, they ask me where I am, and then they tell me that they're sitting outside of my home. That's got to be pretty terrifying. What did they say to you? They told me that they thought that I had been the victim of an international fraud. The first thing I asked was, does the baby exist? And they told me that he did. And, oof, wow. Um, I couldn't really think straight for the next five minutes because I was just flipping out. How scared were you that that was not going to happen? I was pr uh, pretty scared. You want to stop? Yeah. This is tough to discuss. I still want to, yeah. Even though she was terrified about losing the baby she already considered to be her son, who was to be born in two weeks, this former socialite agreed to become an FBI informant, wearing a wire to collect evidence. I don't know if I'm going to get my baby, and I didn't know. And I said, but I'm going to take these people down for everything they've put me through and everything I'm imagining that they're putting other women through. It worked. The baby brokers were arrested, they've all pled guilty, and they will be sentenced this fall. As soon as you put an egg and sperm together, I think you have to be very careful about the intent of what you're doing. Leading fertility doctor Nicole Noyce says she hopes this case will be a wake-up call for an industry where the laws are murky at best. As the technology advances, we have to be very thoughtful about how everything is used, and I'm not sure everyone's on the same page with, with what's eth ethical and what's not. But the arrest did not solve a major problem for Taylor Stein. What would happen to that baby, the baby she considered hers? She tracked down the surrogate mom and took her in, caring for her personally until she gave birth. 
I saw him born and, you know, we cut the umbilical cord. So that was pretty intense. And before he went into Pam's arms, he came into mine. I took off my shirt and I just held him against my bare skin. And it was unbelievable. It was one of the most incredible moments. A moment that almost didn't happen. <laughs> now, baby Wren, as he's called, is five months old and feisty. Thanks to a glamorous mom who's gone from the society pages to the crime blotter. You took the bull by the horns here. Sort of a, a, a maternal ferocity. Mm-hmm. Where'd you get the gumption to do that? I don't know. I felt like fighting for this little boy. Oh, sweetheart. For Nightline, this is Dan Harris hey there. in New York.